Hey guys, welcome to Stretch and Core with Bella. Um, today, uh, you'll need, just before I go on to our little um, waiver, um, you'll need a weight, so just a small, I've got a two, you can have a three. If you don't have one of these, maybe grab a water bottle and fill it up with a bit of water. So we just want something uh, that we can use for our, to just challenge our core a little bit. And I've also got a resistance band. So um, if you've got one of these, great. If not, um, grab a towel, like a, a desperate fed workout towel. And if you can you do that now while I just finish the little chat. Um, so what I want to say is if you have any injuries, you're pregnant or coming back to exercise, please be mindful, work within your own body. So have awareness of what doesn't feel right because we're not there to support you. And if anything feels uncomfortable, doesn't feel right, come out of the exercise and rejoin us uh, at the next um, set or maybe just reset yourself. And what I'll do is I'll try and talk you through it to give you lots of options. So we're going to start with our feet in hip distance apart. So think about a figure 11. We're gonna roll our shoulders as you inhale and exhale. So just release any tension in our upper body. Remember, it is also a stretch class. And I hope you're all having a nice Friday afternoon. And then we're gonna reverse the circle to so go the other way. Nice work, guys. Let's just do one more drawing your shoulders up and down. Think about keeping nice square collarbone. Remember, the collarbone is like the coat hanger that your body hangs off. So you start to feel your shoulders rolling forward, just draw your shoulders back and down and engage through the, uh, through the front. We're gonna also draw your ribs back, belly button drawing up and back. So everything is drawing together nice and strong through the middle, through your powerhouse. We're gonna bring the band up Set your shoulders back and down. Keep your feet at hip distance apart. You're going to imagine we're in a very narrow space between two cupboards and we're just coming out to the side. So try to keep your body stacked and then when you pause, look up to the ceiling, you're gonna feel a little rotation through your side rib. So again, inhale, look up to the ceiling and try to keep your hands framing your head the whole time. As you can see, I've got soft elbows and that helps um, to keep the shoulders down. So if my hands are up, my shoulders creep up, but what I want you to think about is keeping your shoulders back and down. So coming out to the side, looking up. So your side rib are rotating to say hello to the ceiling. Let's do one more little release. Up, coming back. And we're gonna pause, okay. Let's just reset, I'm going to add on. So this time we come out to the side, we're gonna rotate, look down to the floor, then you're gonna look forward towards the front and then come up. So other side, the whole time, you wanna try and keep your hands set and you've got that little bit of resistance on the band, which will help to set yourself into that nice position where you're working and releasing through the middle. That's it. We wanna keep our core set and our hips pointing forward. So this time we look down, look forward and release. Let's do one more to each side. So just gently reset your shoulders, coming down, forward and coming up. Let's do one more. All right, so this time we're going to come out to the side. We're gonna pause here. We're gonna close our armpit, reach towards the side of the leg and then we come up. So again, draw your shoulders back and down, nice and strong through the front. Come out to the side, squeeze a lemon under your armpit, and then come up. I love my fruit cues, fruit analogy. So squeeze that lemon alive, and then coming up. You're gonna feel it through the side of the body, reset. Inhale, exhale, draw the shoulders down, squeezing down, and coming up. Now, if you're finding this a little difficult, you're gonna find that your hand wants to drop. What I want you to do is keep reaching up, Draw your shoulders back and down, so you're really stabilizing through the back. And that's gonna help with our planks in a moment. So let's just do one more to each side. Out to the side, release, up. One more, and coming up. All right guys, let's work a little bit on our posture. So we're going to draw the band forward. Keep your hands pulling out to the side. You're gonna come up, and then you're gonna shave your back behind. So yeah, that's it. And then lifting up. So we're gonna go one forward and then one behind. I 
keep moving because I want you just to find that position, draw your shoulders back and down and then keep the band really close to the body. You want to work a little bit harder, you're going to make the band distance shorter. Up and down. So keep drawing your ribs back, keeping that belly button drawing back so that you're set through the middle of your body. Let's do four more. Inhale, exhale. Good. One more to each side. And then we're going to come up. We're going to draw your hands in front now. I'm just standing at this angle so you can see. So we want to draw the shoulders back and down your hands and in front. And they're going to be eye level. So you're going to pull the band and you're going to look towards your hands and just make sure that they're pulling out. So you're not sort of here. You've got the resistance band stretched and then reach forward eye level. So what we're thinking about here is our shoulder blades drawing together at the back. So imagine you've got 100 bucks between your shoulder blades. I used to say 50 bucks, but now I think, oh, what's 50? 100. Uh, 100, we don't want to drop that 100. So we want to squeeze our shoulder blades together and then come forward. So let's go a little bit faster. So eye level, we're going to do eight. Seven, draw those shoulder blades together and then reach. Five, four, that's it. Three, two, one more. And relax, nice work one, nice work guys. Let's draw the shoulders back and down. We're gonna drop the band. We're gonna step back towards your mat and we're gonna just start with a little bit of a half a roll down. So we're gonna roll down, bringing your hands to your knees and I'll just make sure that I'm in the shot. We're gonna think about your tailbone. So send your tailbone away, draw your hips slightly forward. You've got a really nice back position but a little bit of a curve in your spine and then you're gonna tuck your tail under. Draw your belly button to spine. Just relax through your shoulders and then come forward. So inhale, as you exhale, tuck. As you inhale and come back, you're sending your tailbone away and looking forward. Let's do four more. So this is a really great one to do if you're finding yourself with a bit of a sore back, maybe feeling a little stiff. So just release it and really focus on the cues. So draw belly button back and then draw your tailbone away and feel that length. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, nice. And then on the last one, we're going to tuck your tailbone under and then we're going to come all the way up. You're going to release your hands and let's do the full roll down. So in the roll down, we're thinking about that imaginary wall and we're peeling forward one vertebrae at a time. Soft knees, inhale, come up. Exhale, chin to chest, rounding. Draw your belly button back. And imagine there's like a fence in front of you that you're leaning over. Inhale. Exhale. One more like that, guys. And then we're going to stay down the bottom. I want you to bring your legs out, or your feet, I should say, a little bit wider towards the sides of the mat. You're going to fold your hands in front, and we're going to just move side to side. Focusing on that, a little bit of a release through the back of the leg. So you're moving around, just kind of ragdolling the top half of your body. And just relax. And then let's release. Coming up on the next one, we're going to step your hands away from your feet. So take little steps. We're going to come into our plank position. Perfect plank. Shoulders back and down. Tuck your tail under. And let's walk back. We're going to stay here and walk out again. So walking out into your plank, pause, find your perfect plank and then walk back. One more. All right guys, this time we're going to hold this position, come to your knees and we're going to come in for our push up. So we want to focus now on our breath. So let's inhale, tuck your toe under, coming down and exhale to push up. Inhale, exhale. 
So because it's a core class, I want you to focus on tucking your tail under, bringing the chest down, and then pushing away. Four more. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Two. One more. And then draw that bottom all the way down. And just pause here. Stretch your hands away. Keep your hands and your elbows off the mat and make it a nice active stretch. Lengthening through the back of your spine as you draw the bottom away. And then from here, we're going to come out to the side. One hand on top of the other. And think about that side of the body drawing away from you. So each stretch, we want to make nice and active. To really keep those muscles strong and long. Nice work, guys. Let's come into all fours. We're going to go back and think about that position that we were talking about before. So tuck your tail under, draw your belly button in, suction as much as you can, and then release forward. Send your tailbone away as you look up. So we're thinking of opposition. One more. Tuck your tail under, and then release. Now we're going to set our back into a neutral spine. Because it's Friday, we're going to imagine we've got a tray of delicious cocktails on your back. So you want to keep your back nice and stable. We're going to bring out your left leg and just relax. So my toes are pointing away and I'm relaxing my foot. And then I'm going to lift it up and lower. So really a simple way to engage the core. Work from the middle and then we go opposite arm. Let's do four, three, two. Now we add on, so we reach the top, we come out to the side, back to the middle and lower. Okay, so two moves for each set, up, across, back and down. We wanna keep your neck long, two more. Up, across, back and down. One more, up, across, back and down. Now you're gonna keep your hand down, lift the leg, flex the foot, and we're gonna press your foot up to the ceiling. Make sure here, when you lift, that you don't drop the hips. So the hips stay level. We do eight, seven, six. Press, footprint up to the ceiling. Make sure here you're not dropping to your chest. Four, three, two, one more. And then we're gonna let that leg come out all the way, hip height. And we're going to imagine there is a clock behind us and we're going to trace the clock. Little circles here. You want to control through the middle and working on your leg bone. Think about your leg bone in its hip socket there. Four, three, perfect circles. And let's reverse the circle. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and you're done with that side. Let's start with just the one leg on the opposite side. Remember that tray of drinks is still there. Lift the leg. Now, if this feels great for you and you're getting this really nice support, stay with that. Otherwise, bring the opposite arm to leg. Thinking of that opposition. Pulling and then drawing down. Three. And then we're going to be ready to do our combo. So combo is come out to the side. Without shifting, bring it back lower. So up we go. Opposite arm to leg and then lower. When you come out to the side, you want to really feel the core work but also release the glute. Bring it back and drop it down. Let's do four. Three. Two. One more. And then we're going to bring that leg back, sorry, arm. We're going to flex the foot, and the flex is really important. Working into our glute now, we bring it in and back. Drawing your belly button back, you want to connect to your abdominals there. Feel the side of your abs and the ribs drawing together. You want to imagine you've got a corset on, and you pulse it up. Six, five, four, Three, two, one more. Let's hold and release little circles now. Perfect circles. Six, 
five, four, three, two, one, and then we go to the other side. One, two, three, four, and release. Well done, guys. We're going to come towards the end of your mat, all the way. Let's give that just a little break. We're going to sit up nice and tall, have your feet in front. We're going to now work on that pelvic tilt. So we've done it in three. This is our third position. So we tuck and then hold. Really great way to mobilize your back. Okay, so we're going to connect your back to your abs, suction the belly button, and then we're going to pause. And we're going to think about our swimming arms. So hands coming towards the side of the head, shoulders back and down. So think about that work we did at the beginning of the class with a band. We're working on stabilizing the shoulders. Let's do six, five, four, three, two, one. Draw your inner thighs together and come up. Inhale, this time we're gonna come out to the side. We're gonna think about windmill. Bringing your arms to the corner of the mat forward and then other side. So tap the corners. Look to your fingertips. Let's do six. Rotate through the upper body. Four. We're nearly done. Stay with me. Keep it strong through the middle, guys. Two. One more. And we're going to roll down one vertebrae at a time. Okay, let's now work through our abs. We're going to inhale using our breath to close your ribs and then we're going to tuck your tail under. This is great for your lower abs. So tuck your tail under and then release. Inhale and exhale. So you're tilting your pelvis under, pressing your lower back into the mat but your bottom is lifted. You're going to keep your knees and legs parallel. On the next one we're going to go up. And we're going to pause here. We want stability through your pelvis, through your legs, through your hips. So hold your hips if it helps. And we're going to do a walking march. Belly button back and down. Ribs are back and down. So you're not flaring. You're really working on that nice stability. Imagine you've got a baby on your belly, sitting on your belly, drawing down as you're lifting your glutes up. Let's do eight, seven, six. Five, four, nice work, stay. Try to keep lifting your hips up. Two, one more, and we're gonna hold it up. We're gonna press that leg up, lift up a little bit through your hips, and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's swap sides. So as you lift up this leg, find that nice alignment in your hips looking up to your ceiling and trying to press your foot up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming down. All right, guys, let's stretch the back of those legs. This is where your band comes in. You're going to put the band behind the ball of your foot. All right, and you're going to lock your leg out as much as you can. This is why We've got the band or the towel, whatever is available to you today. Your other leg is drawing away from you. You're going to lock it out. And if you can, lift your heel up to the ceiling as you bring your leg in for a little stretch. So you're going to feel it on the back of your legs, your hamstrings. We want to just draw it in with each exhalation. Bring it in a little bit closer. Keep your back of the head relaxed. You're drawing your chin down so that you can feel that little bit of length on the back of your leg. Inhale, exhale, one more release. We're gonna feel, I would say, an eight out of 10 stretch, maybe coming to a nine. And we wanna just hold it, make it really strong on the back there and to release. Now we're gonna relax it for a moment. And this time we're gonna draw it in. And then we're gonna let go of the band. We're gonna bend the knee and you're gonna lift up towards your heel. Grab inside, so my hand is inside my leg. And I'm gonna draw my knee down towards the side of the mat, towards where my armpit is, okay? So you're, now you're gonna feel it a little bit more behind there, pressing your knee down to the mat. So the band is just hanging there, okay? 
Okay, we'll need it. I want you to keep it there. Keep it there. So deep breath in, relax. See if you can press that down a little bit more. Then we're going to straighten the leg. We're going to lift. We're going to now swap. The other hand is in a T. And we're very slowly going to bring it across first. So just hold it here. I know you guys are dying to let that leg go to the side, but I want you to hold it in this position and you're going to get a stretch on the side which is your TVA. IBS, sorry, not TVA, IBS band on the side of your leg there, which might feel a little bit tight. So flex your foot and draw your leg in towards you. And you're gonna feel a stretch all through the back of your thighs and the side as well. Now release and then see if you can get that leg all the way down. Keep your shoulders pressing to the mat, that's the key. And then look into the opposite direction as you let that foot go. And if you want, just let go of the band and enjoy this opening, chest opening and leg stretch, side body stretch, okay? So we're moving our body in all different directions. One more breath here. We're ready to pick up the band now. We're gonna draw the leg up and we've got one more in this position before we do our leg circle. So hand on your hip. You're going to keep this leg on the mat, stabilizing you as you draw this leg away from you in the opposite direction. So now you're gonna feel a little hip opening there. Don't go too far. You wanna stretch into the muscles and not the ligament. So don't let it go all the way. You still want that control. And then we bring it in. So now we're gonna find those two points that we stretched into before. We're going from here, we're gonna circle, come back to the outside, and then bring that leg back, okay? So let's go slowly again. Circle, and then bring it back. This should feel really nice because you've stretched from both sides. And now we're gonna go a little bit quicker, and then coming up and release. So drawing the leg down, coming back. You need to stabilize using your obliques to try and keep your body glued to the mat. Okay, let's do three, two, one more. And then we're gonna reverse the circle. So now we go the other way and back in. One, two, three, and four. Now hold that band there, open it up and we're gonna bring the other foot in as we swap the other side. So again, give it a good stretch. We wanna start with a bent knee and then we're gonna lock that knee out and draw that leg in. Relax, and with each exhalation, see if you can draw that leg in a little bit closer. Draw your heel up to the ceiling and push. Okay, so not too hard. We wanna feel that leg lengthening at the back. Tight hamstrings can cause tight backs as well. And if you're doing a lot of running, walking, everybody's walking these days, this is a great one to do. So if you like it, maybe do it at home by yourselves uh, after you walk next time. Hopefully you remember the secret. So you're going to draw it in now a little bit more. Think of that nine out of 10 resistance and just take it easy, slow your breathing and focus on your body. What a great way to relax on a Friday afternoon. Inhale, well done guys. Now we're going to slowly bend the knees, lift up a little bit, grab inside your leg. So this is the one we did before. I'll just take the band off so you can see. And you're going to press your knee into the mat so your arm is inside, okay? So if you can't reach, you can use your band and hopefully you can just relax down. Keep, keep pressing your knee and feeling the back of your leg there. Now I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna keep going, but I wanna just grab my band so that it's there for the next few. Inhale, now let's lift up, okay, we're ready. I'm going to swap my hands now and I'm going to let this hand come out to the side. And remember, we're gonna go slowly with this one because I wanna stretch the outside of your thigh as well. Once you've got this diagonal position, you're gonna flex your foot and draw it in a little bit more towards your face. Release, and let's let that leg go all the way. Remember, pressing your shoulders down to the mat as you draw that leg away from you and look to the opposite side. So opposite direction, release your neck. Just 
slowly lift up, bring your bag in the same hand again, point your foot and then you're going to draw it away, stabilizing on the opposite side. So this opposite leg is pressing down to the mat. And let's come back. Now we're going to go into our slow leg circle. So maybe give yourself some more space. Okay, coming out and release. So you're thinking about the top of your leg bone connecting into the hip socket and moving that around while everything else stays stable. So it doesn't move. You're using your obliques to press yourself down to the mat. Two more. Perfect circles. Let's make this our last one and then we're going to change the direction so we go the other way. Four. Three, two, one more, and release. Well done, guys. Let's get rid of the band. We're going to now work a little bit more into the front here. So to do that, we need to really find a good position for our ribs and abdominals. So have your hands back on the front of your ribs. Take a deep breath in, open your ribs, expand, and then as you exhale, draw your ribs down and then feel your sacrum pressing down, but you've got that nice neutral spine. Hands coming back, we're just gonna lift. Inhale, exhale, that's it. So my elbows are in the periphery, and then we're going to pause, and we're gonna pop six, five, four, three, two, one, coming back. Let's do one more set, so six, exhale, Five, four, three, two, one more, and then we do the little pops. Six, five, four, three. On the last pulse, I want you to stay up, reach forward, and we're gonna move into a little pulse with our hands, okay? So variation on the hundreds. We're gonna bring one leg into tabletop, nice and slowly. Inhale, exhale. Now you can either swap legs or you can bring both legs in. Inhale, draw belly button down. Imagine you've got someone standing on your abdominals, okay? So stable and strong. We're gonna press our left leg down. Inhale, and slowly exhale to fill the length. Now let's bring that leg back. We're going to do the same on the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do one more leg like that. So one more leg variation. Try to stay off the mat. You can have one hand for a little support. Bring that leg back. Maybe swap your hand. Now, let's bring it in. We're going to do two sets with both legs long. Inhale. Maybe draw your legs away. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your knees in for a little hug. And then let's roll up into our seated position. We're going to now come up onto our knees. And we're going to do a little bit of work on our sides using our legs to stabilize. So draw one leg away. You're going to cross your hands up. Frame your hand and you're gonna come out to the side and then lift yourself back up. So find that nice stability. Have a look that your toes in line with your knees. So you're nice and long, strong. Remember, shoulders back and down. Coming out to the side and pulling yourself up. Nice, guys. So this is why we did a little bit of that work at the beginning of the class. Finding that movement in our body. So we can work our abs in so many different option variations. We're not always working our abs and laying on the floor, crunching or curling or even the plank. This is another great way to do it. Let's do four. Coming up, keep your head framed by your hands. Three, two, one more. All right, guys, so this time we're going to release the hand. You're going to bring your hand up, bring your chest towards me, and then you're going to lift the leg. Now, you're going to feel it strong through the middle, but also your glutes. We're going to flex the foot and bring that leg forward for one, 
two. So you've got to try and maintain the control through your powerhouse. If you don't think about it, you're going to just sway your body back and forth, but you need to focus on that stability, working those deep abdominals. This is why we want to focus on the compound movements. Three, two, one more. And then we're going to point the foot, we're going to reach forward, we're going to bring the leg slightly higher, draw it down just a little, three quarters of the way. So it's just about to touch the floor and then we lift. Six, five, four. Try to be light through the hand that you're holding on. So you're not dropping into the hand, you've got a feeling of lightness. Three, two, one more. And then we're going to bend and come up. Release, let's do the other side. So bring that leg in about the same height as your knee. And then the hands come out, shoulders back and down. Coming up, one. Keep your belly button drawing up. Remember you've got that corset on. So your side rib drawing together. Nice. Keep reaching up as you reach down. So we're thinking of our positions and we've got a lightness. Try not to think heavy. How far you go is up to you. Maybe you're only able to go this far. And that just depends on the mobility in your back and your abdominals as well. If you're not used to these kinds of movements, this would be a little bit challenging. Four, three, two, last one. And then we come out, we're gonna draw that hand down just in line with the knee, and then this hand comes in. So remember, lightness through the supporting hand. Flex your foot, so your leg is hip height and you're drawing it forward without compensating with your abdominals by drawing back. You want to instead stabilize. So let's do six, five. So imagine you're gliding this leg on like a dining, a uh, coffee table. Okay, so you've got to keep it the same level. That's it. Three. How forward can you go without losing that momentum and that control? Two. One more. And then we're going to reach, bring the leg a little high, drop, and pump. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And we come back. Well done, guys. We're ready for our side planks with our weight. So if you don't have a weight, don't worry. Or if you've got a water bottle that you can use just for something to grab. Okay, so I'm gonna show you level one. So have the plate, sorry, the weight in front of you. You're going to come onto your elbow now. Level one would be on your knees. Okay, and you just try this with me first and then we'll go to level two together. Okay, so shoulders back and down, that's really important. You're going to lift. And then you're gonna pick up the weight and you're gonna lift your elbow up first. Reach back to your armpit and then down. Okay, so it's two parts. Lift the elbow up to the ceiling. The whole time you've gotta hold this position and down. Now, if this is great for you, stay with that. Level two, there's two options. You're either gonna have your legs in front of each other or stacked, okay? If obviously in front of each other like this, a little bit easier. Stacked, you need to lift that bottom leg up higher, okay? So let's do eight, whichever one you're at. When you come down, you kind of bring your chest down to the mat just slightly. Keep, I need to reset. Keep stabilizing through your shoulders. Remember, this is for your abs and it's all about your control, but we're adding a little bit of upper body today. Let's do four more. Up, three, two, one more, and coming down. Now before we go into the other side, you're going to bring that weight to the middle and we're going to find our position in our plank, which is a little bit wider. You're going to lift, roll the weight to the other leg, to the other side and come back. Option on your knees, okay? So I'm gonna stay with this today. Lifting up and back. Let's do eight. 
keep your belly button tucked. Seven, six, five, four, three. You kind of roll the weight towards the other side. Two more. So if you did the full plank, make sure you're not dropping your hips and you maintain a neutral spine. Last one and come back. I'm gonna swap sides and we go to the other side. So let's set ourselves up, shoulders back and down, elbow underneath. And we're going to start, we'll just do two here on our bent knees. Lift, reach, back and down, belly button back. And then we're gonna do the full one. Remember, we either stack or one in front of the other and we lift. One, elbow up, two, guys, five more, one, two, great, working through your hips there, lifting the hips up, three more, don't forget to lift the elbow into the armpit, down, back, keep shoulders back and down, drawing it away from your head, one last one, up, across, back and down and release well done guys we're going to just sit in the mermaid sitting position we're going to stretch a little bit through our hips so legs are 90 degrees we're going to reach up when you come down you're going to drop the elbow this is why we're doing this because i want to stretch through the shoulders then reach come up lift other side in so drop to your elbow, reach across, up. Let's do one more before we swap sides. Nice work guys, let's swap our legs around into the other side and then you might find, like it is for me, this side's a little bit tighter. So reach, up, across, Come to your elbow and then reach under. Don't rush this bit, this feels really nice. Inhale, reach across. Imagine you're painting the ceiling, coming over onto your elbow, reach up. And up we go, let's do one more. Nice work guys. We're going to come into all fours now. And we're going to finish with our, a few more planks and then into our fours for a stretch. So hands underneath your shoulders. We're going to imagine that we've got that tray of drinks, the Friday drinks on our back. Flick your toes under, try to maintain this neutral spine, belly button lifting, hold the knees. We're going to do eight here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. And then we're going to step one away, eight. Try to maintain six, five, four, three, two, one, and come down, release, bring your elbows to the ground and circle your wrists. All right, we're going to now bring yourself back into this position, step one leg, ready for a full plank. We're gonna bring one hand out to the side, the other one to the side of the mat. So out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Eight. So I'm just bringing my hands to the side of the mat. Four, three, two, one more. And drop to your knees. We're going to come up into a kneeling position now, bringing one, leg in front, just having to decide which leg. I want you to see this side. So we're going to start by tucking your tail under and coming forward. Imagine you're really working on that tuck and that's when you feel that stretch here. You're going to lift that hand up and draw the hand away. You're going to really feel that through the side there. Hopefully you're feeling it. Now we come up. Hold that hand, you're going to bring it across to the outside of the knee and this one is going to circle back. 
So you're looking back to your fingertip, bringing it forward, and then releasing two more. So this is your chest opening, and then closing one more. And then this hand comes inside the knee now, and then we open all the way. Let's just pause and enjoy. Come back in front, two more. One more, relax the shoulder. Coming up, we're going to flex your foot. Hips are set, leaning over that leg. Up we get, and let's swap sides. So we're going to do the same on the other side. Tuck that toe under. You're going to reach that hand up, bring it away from you, from that side. Feel that nice side body stretch. Try to keep your shoulder connected in your back, and then you draw that hand to the outside and circle. One. Follow your fingertips. Two. One more. Now it comes inside and we do the same on the other side. One. Open that hip out. Two more. Last one. And then we're going to come up, flex that foot. You want to keep your pelvis set as much as you can and then lean over that leg without moving your hips. Well done, guys. Let's come up into standing. We're going to take a deep breath in, reaching up to the ceiling and relaxing, guys. Well done. Just bring your hands back to your chest and give yourselves a big clap. I hope you enjoyed that class. Have a wonderful Friday and enjoy your weekend.